Hi, Steve Schlegel here. In this economy, and really in all economies, we run into people who have um, their businesses stock. They're stagnant, they're not growing, they might even be going backwards. And they're looking for ways to get around it, to get past it, to overcome it, and to do better. Unfortunately, a lot of people just accept the fact and it's like, oh, there's nothing that I can do. It's just the way the economy is. Where other people are taking the situation that they're in and they're continuing to grow and continuing to do well. I look at my own client base. There's a number of businesses that are just having their best years ever. And then there's a few that are struggling. Why is that? What, what are some of the things that we can think about and implement to improve that. And there's four factors here that we can give, give some thought to. One of them is growth. We want to grow, but do we have a plan to grow? Are we thinking about in the context of everything that we do, how are we setting ourselves up to grow to the next level? And that can involve a number of things. And I'm just gonna hit the highlights in this video. Uh, and then hopefully we can have some additional videos that go into more detail, or you can work with uh, whatever professional or whether you're working with us, we can help you uh, walk through that. So we have to have this growth mindset. We're always trying to get uh, to grow and to become better. And remember, that's not always just growing sales because sales alone don't make you profitable. We're trying to grow the bottom line. Measuring results is the second factor. If you're not measuring what you're doing, you have no idea if each of the things that you're trying is working or not. And a gut feeling is not going to do it for you. You have to be very specific and you have to quantify the results of your marketing efforts, um, your customer service efforts, your product delivery, your service delivery, and so forth. You need to measure that to see if it's helping you grow or not. The third is a detailed marketing plan. Most people have a very fuzzy little marketing plan in their head, if anything at all. Well, our business grows and we get new customers based on our reputation. Well, that's not enough. Um, on my website, I talk about at least 40 different ways that you can bring new customers into your business and to work better with your existing customers. The point here is, if you don't have a detailed plan of how you're gonna go about it and what you're gonna accomplish, you're gonna accomplish absolutely nothing. So you need to have a detailed marketing plan. And then fourth, goals. And you've heard it since you were a little kid, but if you don't have a target, a goal, a direction, an idea where you're going, what your strategy is in your business, you're just winging it and you're never going to achieve much at all because if you have no goals it's whatever happens happens it's more of a reactive environment and for a lot of people that's the way they run their business it's very reactive i just react to what the market's doing i react to what my employees are saying i react to my uh, customers you can't do that you have to be proactive you have to have a plan in place this is what i want to accomplish you know one of the ways we think about that is when we start a business the very first question we should be thinking about is how do we get out of the business one day? We're going to sell our business someday, whether it's to our family or to third parties or whatever, but we need to think about what do I want the business to look like five years from now or 10 years from now? Where am I going? And if you don't take these four concepts and apply them in your business, you're likely gonna become stagnant and you're gonna struggle and you're never going to accomplish what your dreams were. So be sure to do that.